30 Doradus, or the Tarantula Nebula region, is the nearest superstar cluster to Earth. A superstar cluster has about a million stars within a few light years. If you think about it, that's the distance to Alpha Centauri, to the nearest star, is we have one in that volume. So imagine a million in that volume, and now you understand why it's super. We have some ideas about how you make one star. We have a, I would say, a pretty good idea how you make a star like our sun out of gas. We have a decent idea, although we argue about it more, how you make a star 10 or 50 times more massive than our sun, a massive star. But to make a million stars in a region a few light years in size really challenges everything we know about how may we make stars and clusters. So we want to know how they're formed and we want to know what they do to their surroundings. So the nearest one is the central cluster of the 30 Doradus region of very massive stars that has stars up to 100 times the mass of our sun in a very small area and then in a region about 30 to 50 light years around it, there's many more massive stars and some molecular clouds. Giant molecular clouds are large objects which have little dense parts in them that make stars and a lot of less dense material that is highly unlikely to make stars. And so there's this light bulb, this super dense cluster core and it's emitting radiation field 30 light years away where the first molecular cloud is, um, is at least 10,000, maybe 100,000 times as strong as the radiation near the sun, basically frying this molecular cloud. That intense radiation photo dissociated, so destroyed the molecules, the carbon monoxide molecule that we observe, in the more diffuse parts of the cloud, but it left the dense blobs, these few hundred solar mass blobs, more or less alone. Their properties are pretty similar to dense blobs of the same mass and size in much more quiescent environments in the galaxy. In the next couple years with ALMA, we will be able to resolve those into parts that will, could make individual stars and then really answered more definitively the star formation that is occurring next to this intense radiation 